Good evening everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a mini Ikea haul. So I've literally just stepped through the door, whacked some lippy on, got myself a hot cup of tea, so I hope you do the same. And I thought, I've got 15 minutes before the school run. I wasn't gonna film this until tomorrow, but I just thought, why not? It's all fresh in my mind. So I went to Ikea today and I intended to get virtually nothing. I went with my sister who is renovating her house. So I went with her, I drove her there and that's all my niece. Um, I was gonna film going there, but I was so tired when I got up today and I just didn't feel like picking the camera up. So I've got in, I feel a lot better now. Um, I've got a few organizational pieces, a couple of pretty things and a Christmas present. So I hope you enjoy this video. Um, so as always, get that cup of tea like me, put your feet up, sit back, relax and enjoy. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the um, Christmas present that I got. <laughs> It's actually for my youngest room. So if you're new around here, I have three children. I have a three-year-old, an eight-year-old, and also an 11-year-old stepdaughter. And this is for my three-year-old. So he's dinosaur obsessed. And this is a, hmm, either a Diplodocus or a Brachiosaurus. <laughs> um, and it's for his room. And I thought it was really cool. So I just need to get the price for you. Okay, so he wasn't the cheapest. He was 19 pounds, but he is really big. I can't get him on the screen. So just to give you an idea of how big he is, he is quite big and I think he'll look really, really nice in my son's room. I've got a giraffe in there at the moment from H&M and the neck's gone all floppy, so the giraffe kind of sits like that. So I thought that this Diplodocus could take the giraffe's place. So they had loads of new big soft toys and my boys love soft toys. So I really liked that. So the next thing I'm gonna show you was definitely an impulse purchase, something I hadn't even seen before, hadn't planned to get. I just saw it and went, oh, that's really nice. And then I couldn't decide if I was being bleary eyed and tired. And then my sister walked up behind me and went, that is stunning. So I'm gonna insert a picture of it hanging up in Ikea. And if by the time this goes live, I put it up, I'll show you a picture of that too, but I highly doubt it. Uh, but I thought this could go above my dining table and it is absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. And that was £22, which I thought was really good. The challenge is going to be getting it wired um, it because it's plug-in. So I'm going to have to run a cable across the ceiling kind of as, as discreetly as I can down to a plug. But I'm only going to use this seasonally, so I thought I'd use this at Christmas as we entertain a lot. I've got a really big table, I thought it would be a nice little middle piece to the table and I really, really loved that. Okay, so while we're talking about decorative items for kind of Christmas time, again, impulse purchase, saw them, loved them, so I bought them. Um, and it was my sister driving it again. She was like, no, I love those. So I got two big vases like this. Um, if you can see the kind of shape of it, it goes out at the side. I'll show you the smaller one. So this is the smaller one. And this is the bigger one, so you can see the size difference is actually really heavy. And I got a candle to go in each of them. And I thought, as soon as the table's behind me, I will put them next to each other. I thought they could go in the centre of the table with two real candles in them. The big candle is actually ginormous, like huge. Um, but, as you can see, it will go inside that glass jar and I just thought how beautiful that look with my nice new light piece. These two gorgeous candles in their holders burning away on a winter's evening when I've got friends and family over at the dining table. I just think that'll be a real gorgeous natural centerpiece. And yeah, I loved those. So they were really reasonably priced. The large bars was nine pounds. The small vase was £2.50 and the candles weren't that expensive. I think this was about £1.50 and I think that was only like £1.75, which I think they might have got it wrong because I'm not sure how that huge candle is £1.75. But they are unscented. They're not scented candles. Um, I just wanted it for how it looked, but I did really, really like those. Okay, I've just got that completely wrong. I was looking at the wrong line when it said £1.75. That large candle is actually £10. <laughs> I couldn't have been more wrong, but I think it's worth £10. It's huge. So apologies for that wrong price. Okay, we are whizzing through this and I now have seven minutes before the school run. 
mm. the preschool run and then I come back and then I go again an hour later to get my eight year old. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking rubbish and show you the rest of the things that I got. Um, the next thing, a lot of the rest of the things I've got are organizational, but I do have one more, in, no, two more impulse purchase, purchase, purchases. Um, I'm really hot now, so I'm gonna take my gilet off. Literally walked through the door. That's why I've still got it on. I'm gonna have to put that back on in a minute, that's better. The next thing I got, which I really loved, and they were very impulse, but I saw them and I couldn't leave them there. I am such a sucker for glassware. How gorgeous are these glasses? Just water glasses, I thought. They'd be lovely for the table. Um, yeah, when we're entertaining, because we've got the blue kind of tumbler glasses from Ikea, which I love, and I give people if they want a drink of water or squash. But I thought these were just a bit more special. We have like really special glasses, like crystal, nice, really nice ones. But these I just thought were in between the really basic ones and the really nice ones. So these are like, yeah, I just really liked them. So I got six of those. They were £2.50 each. And I absolutely love those. Okay, so the next thing, super boring, but I topped up some of my mugs. So I don't know if you've seen my cup of tea, but... These are my favorite mugs from Ikea. I've had them for years and years and a few of them have chipped. Mm. Can't beat a cup of tea in the afternoon. Um, so yeah, mine have chipped. So I just got four of these and they were two pounds each. So if you are new to the basic white large mugs from Ikea, these are my go-to. I think they look really clean and crisp when you offer anyone a cup of tea and they're big. So I like a vat of tea, not like anything really small. I actually drink my coffee in different mugs, but these are a really good teacup, I think, um, which is kind of the opposite of how it's meant to be, because isn't tea meant to be in a teacup, like a small one, and coffee in a bigger one? Anyway, I've never wanted to be normal, so I have it the opposite way around. But these are just a lovely, lovely size, especially if you like hot chocolate. And yeah, they're just, they're just me. They're just plain and nice and stylish so yeah i like those so one more slightly exciting thing is this little uh, night light for spencer so spencer is my three-year-old and he is scared of the dark and we have to have our landing light on at the moment which isn't dimmable it is so bright that it keeps it actually keeps me and my husband awake even if our doors only open a tiny bit um and i can't shut my door at night because i need to be able to listen out for the kids so um i got this cute little i'll take it out the box so you can see my sister actually bought him a nightlight for his birthday but i didn't realize when i sent her the link that it was battery operated uh, whereas this one so cute i think it's a mouse is uh plugged in so it can just stay by the side of his bed and i think its little tail is the button and it changes color so i didn't think it was too oppressive he's got like a big lamp in his room anyway um, and I will insert a clip of this on just so you can see the colours, uh, but I thought that was really, really nice. So not too bad, that was £10, and they did have other designs in there, um, but I just went for the kind of most minimalistic design um, that was kind of cute. Uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to Spencer using that tonight. I'm sure he's going to love it, and hopefully we can get away with just leaving the bathroom light on. <laughs> So the next few items are home organization, storage, kind of, and they're slightly boring. So if you don't wanna watch this last bit, I totally get it, but there's only about three more items. So not many more. The first one is this, these Tupperware pots. I got three packs of three, they're little snack pots. Tupperware goes missing. I saw this really funny meme on Instagram. It was a friend on Instagram wrote, I'm gonna have to get this right. Something like, you know when a sock goes missing in your washing machine, it's going to return as a Tupperware lid that doesn't fit any of your Tupperware. And I was like, that is so true. Uh, we always lose little snack pots and these are great for the kids' lunch boxes. And it was only 50p for a pack of three. So I got nine for £1.50. I don't think you can beat that price. And then on the same breath, I just got these three um, Tupperware pots with lids for, again, lunch boxes or just when things are left over and we want to put them in the fridge. So they were £2 each. So the lid and the pot you pay for separately, but that's £6 for three. 
These were a pound each and these are to go inside my drawers to put my spices in. Um, Cause that is something I need to organize. They are just really basic. They were in the stationery section and they're a pound. And I thought those three can sit next to each other and sit in my pan drawer. Final organizational thing. And I'm really having to speed it up cause I have got to leave uh, is this really basic box. And it was about one pound 50 and it's just for my kids coloring crayons. Um, and it goes inside a sideboard. So again, not really aesthetically pleasing, but so practical and really reasonable. Final item, again, not that exciting, but good to know that Ikea feather pillows are really lovely. And our children each have one feather pillow each. Uh, as I say, I say the children, the older children have one feather pillow each and one foam pillow. And they both fight about having both the feather pillows. So I bought two more feather pillows and they're really nice. They're 22 pounds. Um, and I was waiting to go to Ikea to get them because they're more expensive online. But these are really lovely and they last a long time. So that is my very quick Ikea haul. I am going to run down the road and get my son now, but I really hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you enjoyed looking at some of the things that I got. Um, I know it was kind of basic, but I didn't actually intend to do this. Uh, it wasn't planned, but hopefully there were some nice little ideas on there. I was gutted not to be able to get any Christmas bits because they were just setting it up. And I do like to get a couple of nice things for Christmas from there. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy it, please do not forget to like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I shall see you all very soon.